previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, respect my Dante. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know Rachel is a gamer? <laughs> That's How like, do, do, do you think she's a gamer? On a little field trip. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know what if she meant like once. gamer, as in gay a y? Yeah. yeah. You remember She's that like, guy hey, that we saw? Is that the code. new is that the new That's secret gay code? Yeah. <laughs> it's like if girls ask you if you're a gamer, you're supposed to say yes or no depending on if you're interested. <laughs> Guys, Geek Remix is on the cutting edge of secret gay code. It's gamer. G A Y M E R. Why are we in this douchebag's office? Maybe because we're gonna get yelled at? Uh... Miss Price, how good of you to join us. Is she gonna blame I'm us so for I'm so sorry we're like, late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... Sorry. No, I mean, is she gonna blame us for, like, leaving school? Like, we pressured her oh, into yeah. doing it. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. <laughs> and the other is all too familiar <laughs> with it. Blackwell's oh. code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. <laughs> and that respect okay. was violated. Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? No, I'm what? busy being gay. <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? <laughs> don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, <laughs> Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting Insubordinate. to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. It's our fault? Victoria Chase. Oh. Oh, what? We've messed up her homework. Remember? <laughs> yeah! Wait, no, she was asking she us cheated. for the- She was the one asking us for answers. Fuck you. <laughs> Academic goals like doing her own homework because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism Excellent suggestion Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda oh, So for Victoria for plagiarism Miss Chase might have been suspended Chloe you tried to get someone suspended what why would we get in might trouble have. for that if mr. Prescott Nathan Prescott hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> I defended him. Fuck you. No, that's not the hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know. The guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. You know, but 
I'm not even surprised. This is how it goes. Like, I don't know what you were like in high school, but, like, I was a troublemaker. Kid. No, I get it. So it's like, I get it. I'm still just mad. Like, sometimes when people are like, what did you expect? And I'm like, just because it's expected doesn't mean it's not shitty, you know? I still am going to be mad at the fact that the way things are are shit. And this guy's a fucking asshole. Everyone's blaming Chloe. How did they twist it around that it's Chloe's fault that Victoria was trying to cheat? That's what happens. I know it's what happens, but I don't like it. No, that's what happens. So what they do, it, it happens in family dynamics. It happens at school. It they, happens with race issues. They pick... I, well, I don't really want to include that in what I'm about to say, since you don't okay, know where I'm going my with Okay, my name is Mari, and I said it. Um, no, I was just going to say, like, you pick a troublemaker, and, like, everything is their fault. And, like, you know, like, if the family has a troubled child, then the troubled child is responsible for everybody else's behavior. Mm -hmm. It happens at work, too. No, yeah. I get what you're saying, and I know that it's, like, expected, but I just hate... I'm not hated that anyway. That people should have to, like, sit down and take it. I'm just... It's more like when it... Since it has happened to me so much, I'm just kind of like, fuck it. Like, you, you cease to care at that point. Because it's like you're out of caring. You I, know? for some, like, so for me personally, when I'm, like, expecting something shitty to happen, I'm twice as pissed when it actually happens. Because I'm like, I fucking knew it. I knew you're all pieces of shit. Reassure mom. Fuck you, Wells. Yeah. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Cut. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. That's cool, what Rachel. What does that mean? It She's means... Expelled. I... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? what? Thank what? you, Rachel. What? Fuck. Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? This is of great. course. This is amazing. No, I love this. I she... love this. Okay, I guarantee you some asshole's gonna be like, and this is why Rachel's manipulative. But really, I think Rachel's just using her skills to help her friend. No, this is this is what you do, though. Like, you and your friend get in trouble. The person who's getting in less trouble t tries to take some of the heat That's off literally of the other it. person. Yes. That's what you do. Yeah, but, like, ugh, I guarantee you some fucking ass is gonna be like, and this is my theory on why Rachel's a slut mage and manipulates people through the wind to like her. Well, but here's the thing. You can you can manipulate people for your friends. Yes. <laughs> if you're manipulating somebody for your friend, it's not evil. <laughs> it's okay. Legit though. <laughs> If you're manipulating but Remember, this somebody. is like this is like kids versus adults. So this is It's okay. It's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Geek Remix. It's okay it's to okay manipulate, to manipulate adult. adults. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, if you're doing it for your friend, you know, it's okay. This is a pretty low stakes manipulation, I think, because she's really just trying to help her get in less trouble. She's not trying to, like... Like, if Chloe was doing heroin and then and then Rachel was like, she's not, I'd be like, no. no let no. that happen. Yeah. But this is, like... Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? <laughs> it's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. <laughs> Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, 
Based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Oh, yeah? You want the full story, Dad? No. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? <laughs> With yes, my magical actually. vagina? Oh, my gay power. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. I they understand, are underage. Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh, no! No. Her parents are really obsessed with theater. They're like, oh, this is so bad. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Uncalled for. Right. She <laughs> loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. Fuck you, Wells. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Who is it? Victoria Chase. Fuck! Oh! The How master fitting. manipulator. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is so. What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is yet. upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Let's take the blame. Yeah. I mean, we get no expelled anyway. Is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Ugh. Okay, here we oh, go. Boy. Okay. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Uh-oh. Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Accept. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. You don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Uh... Which one? Sorry for making you look bad, maybe? Fine. Yes. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Yes! Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. But... And now? You are expelled. Uh. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. 
Who would have known? My secret that skill in video is all. games is shit talking. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Amber, Ray. <laughs> Come on, More Chloe. games should have this mechanic. Uh, that was rough, though. I didn't really like having to kind of like yell at her a little bit. Well, you know? she knew. I feel like she knew. Yeah, so she knew. Okay. I'm sorry. But... Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later. You bet. What? If yes! I'm not grounded? Like, what Woo! the fuck? I grounded? didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. Ah, oh, it's really throwing us under the bus. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. I like Joyce's eyeliner game, though. Yeah. Mom, Strong. I'll mm -hmm. see you in the parking lot. Whatever. We're going to save hey, money Chloe. now. I'm supposed to walk you out. Aww. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. <coughs> Yeah, why don't you just grab your emergency joint and smell like weed as you're leaving the school you I got know. expelled from? It's really gonna trust fucking... the keeper of my graffiti pens. I guess her thought is like you've served me well. Fuck go it. big or go home. <laughs> like go out Love with a bang. Every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Well, you know, Chloe, I just want to say that, like, she's going to a private school and, you know, lots of people go to public schools and thrive. So just mm -hmm. not saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Also... I mean, at least in my experience, sometimes, like, when it feels like nobody has your back, you don't want to try yeah. at things, and, like... Or if everyone says, like, you're a certain way, you're like, fuck you, fine. Yeah, you know? fine, like, I'll just, I'll just, like, if, you, if you're all gonna yell at me about being a fuck-up, then I might as well just be a fuck-up, since I never get credit for the good things that I do. Which is, some people are gonna be like, well, you shouldn't do good things just to get credit. I'm like, well, then you clearly don't know how it feels to have an entire group of people tell you that you're a piece of shit all the time so you're like if i'm just gonna be treated like shit either way i may as well have the benefit of doing the stuff that... doing the stuff that they yell at me for yeah <laughs> like it's easy to say like oh you should do good things for the merit it's like yeah like that's good to do until like the 50th time everyone tells you a piece of you're a piece of shit it's one of those things where it's like it's we're not really describing an excuse so much as like the thought process and reasoning, you know? Yeah, I'm not saying like I I know it's it, not like I know okay. I'm just trying to fully further describe for them. Like, yeah, no, I know. I, yeah. I'm trying to like get a po this point across that like it's not okay to just you should do good things for the merit of it being a good thing. Like, most of the time people do that. But it's hard and taxing when you're constantly giving and giving. And then not only do you not get anything back, but you also are, like, treated badly, you know? Yeah. So Regardless of what you do. It can make it, can make it hard to, like be like oh yeah like it's like well what is the point of me like studying really hard and like trying really hard at school when everybody just treats All me right. like crap i hid my stash behind the poster oh. which is behind my books <laughs> the game's like you're a fucking moron yeah <laughs> we gotta take the cat pick though that's yeah. important do we need the stash like do we have the option to just leave it behind i don't know that's a good question well let's take Stop. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. There's the raven. Where? On the oh, post-it oh, note. On the post -it note. I was looking at the graffiti. Maybe Kem was the class I hated the least. I was like, that's a pirate, Mari. Take the Kem book. Maybe we can make bombs or something later. No! 
<laughs> so there was like this uh, book I read. Mm. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m. going 100 miles per hour, <laughs> how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? You know, you could give that to a student who has like no books right now. Okay. Yeah, I know. You could sell them back. I don't know. That's money you could get for weed, just saying. There's this book I read when I was younger. It was by the same author as Animorphs. I think it was called Everworld or Animorphs. Other... Animorphs! It was either Ever Everworld or Otherworld. Everworld. I and mean. it was like a sexier, dirtier version of Animorphs. <laughs> I'm trying go... to imagine that because Animorphs is like, like what's underrated G. Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Wait, no, I remember. So what was this like? No, in Animorphs, I remember reading the book Did and one of the girls. with somebody once? No, no, no. Okay, so in Animorphs, welcome to the le Life is Strange. But I gotta tell you, in Animorphs, one time, one of the girls was being sexually harassed, but she had amnesia, so she just turned into an elephant. <laughs> mm -hmm. As, like, it, so what you're, I'm saying is, if you were being street harassed by creepy dudes, just turn into an elephant. Mustache is just on the other side of that poster. But they had this other thing called Everworld by the same author who decided they wanted to make a grittier thing yeah. with teenagers and, like, sex and shit. And the very, like, one of them's holding their chemistry book and they trade it for something. And then the things they trade it to, they're, like, these creatures. They, like, learn how to make bombs and shit in this world where they don't have bombs. Ah. So it was cool. <laughs> Finally, what I actually came here for. Do I need it? Like, is there a way to, like, not? Uh, I mean, it, it appears as though... Having Justin as my locker neighbor was... one of the few not-shitty things about this place. Love how every time someone tells... He's gonna know, like, he's hip to that shit. I, I don't know that... Oh, we can sign! Wonder who will grace this space after me. <laughs> he doesn't see us like whip out a sharpie. Maybe he just doesn't care. Ten, almost. Uh, all right. I wonder. Can we just? Leave? I don't want to get the doobie. Jackpot. Okay, put that in okay, your well, Put it in your bra, quick! What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Oh, Chloe, hey, oh, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week, Justin. Did he literally roll up the the letter as if it was a joint? Yes. What a fucking ass! <laughs> so we went that's kind of funny! <laughs> So it's like you just see it in there and you're like, oh, oh yeah, it's there. there. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then you look, open it up and you're like, this motherfucker. This <laughs> motherfucker. I just smoked paper. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Justin. You saved us. Now we have to deal with our emotions. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Quick, show him your boobs so then he has to run away. Uh, what? bathroom <laughs> then i'm out he has cool. to run away uh, okay he's okay. not allowed to but see him we're sense, not supposed to say stuff like oh that. sorry <laughs> they're in i keep forgetting that they're high schoolers they're I'm like sorry. They're, yeah okay and also reminder for the comments that they're younger in this game so. i forgot i'm sorry i forgot that they're not 18 that they're 16 oh wait Insubordinate. Oh, yes. I just want to say, I think it's okay to acknowledge that teenagers have a sexuality and stuff, but just don't involve yourself into it. Yeah, but maybe... Just be like, yes, they have it, but let's not involve or insert ourselves yes. into it. That's gonna break. You're gonna break your face I feel open. like, I feel like just for Mike, 
If other people want to act differently, that's okay. But like for my comfort, I just try not to. Yeah. Just because it's like I don't know. Like I know I don't want to. I don't want anyone to be drawing underage characters fucking. But I think it's okay to acknowledge that teenagers. Just to acknowledge it that it exists. Yeah. But without like being like. And then I showed up. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And not being like, oh, Rachel and Chloe, they had sex, but not being like creepy about it, just acknowledging well, that it yeah. happens. I think especially because we're so much older than they are. I don't want to be, I just want to acknowledge that it happens, you know? <laughs> and it's okay, but I'm not going to be a part of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, like I don't, I don't <laughs> judge them or anything. And like, like if a teenager came to me being like, uh, like, you know, if my kid came to me asking me questions about sex, I'd be like, answer their questions. This is a, not... an imaginary kid. In an imaginary sense, if I had a kid who was a teenager and asked me about sex, because I would acknowledge that they have sexual oh, feelings. Oh, yeah, and you would be, try to be, like, as frank with them as possible, because you want to, like, you know. Yeah, so. Give them an idea of how the world works, but at the same time, you don't want to, like. Basically, what I'm saying is that I acknowledge that these teenagers are sexual beings, but I don't insert myself into that situation. I just yeah. go, like, you have it. Good job. You did it. Yeah. Later, Skip. Skip's Later. like forever. I hope Skip doesn't get in trouble. Sometimes when I'm like Looks browsing, like David's here. Awesome. Life is strange stuff. Um, I'll see like pictures of Rachel and Chloe like kissing, but like that's cool with me. Yeah. And then I'll see pictures where they're like straight up like going for it. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, who, is Chloe's hair blue and does she have the tattoo? All right, it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, when is this <laughs> When is this place? Place? <laughs> If Chloe looks like how she does in Before the Storm, I'm like, get it out, get it out. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> but if they're, they're older, I'm like, all right, it's safe. <laughs> Max would have loved this shit. The future needs excellence because of a generous grant from Prescott Foundation. Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Art 101, visual concepts, art 102. Is this a fucking college or high school? Oh, maybe it's, um, what's it called? AP classes. Didn't we discover that this is kind of like a, like a, like a prep school yeah so i went to a private uh prep school and we were allowed to take classes at the at the university that it was connected to so we could just leave camp our high school campus and go onto the onto the university campus and take classes like but this. like they have high schools that are geared towards the arts or that are geared towards like stem yeah in illinois there's imsa which is geared towards like illinois math and science academy and then there's some art schools in Illinois and stuff. And they're all, like, boarding schools like this. Yeah. So things like that exist. I don't know. They might, like... Because you know how AP classes are usually classes that they uh, do in college? They are? That's what I was told. But. Oh, I don't know. We, like, all of us took AP classes at my school. What's the... What Except is AP, for, then? It, well, advanced placement, it's so that you could, I guess, I guess you're right, though, because it's so you can of, test out of college classes, basically. So, yeah, and so some of our AP classes were at the university. Oh. But that could have just been because they were like, well, we already have people, like, ten minutes away teaching the class, so we may as well just send our students there. Yeah, that's probably why. Instead of hiring a new teacher for that class. Yeah. Or if you ha didn't have enough kids that it would make up, like, an entire class. That's true. Because there are a lot of kids who were taking, like, certain classes. Or whatever. Three guesses whose bike this is. And they all start with Miss Grant. 3.14. Yeah. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Don't make me use my teacher voice. I, I can, I well, can read these bumper stickers again. Yeah, hold on. Three guesses whose bike this is. My other vehicle can do the Kessel Run in less than Ms. 12 Grant. parsecs. Darwin is my homeboy. Did you know that a parsec is not... It's a measure of distance. ...from what the... Mean? Parsecs are measured distance, and then... So what Han Solo was saying was... Nonsensical? No, it was within 12 parsecs of a black hole. 
And that's why he was so famous. Oh. He did the Kessler run because he was getting within 12 parsecs of a black hole. He got so close. He got much closer to the event horizon than other oh. people, which means he was able the to do it faster. The only way that I've heard that it's like when you, when people usually talk about it, they're just saying that like parsecs is not a measure of time; it's a measure of distance. Yeah, it was a measure of distance because he cut the distance down. Because he got really close to a black hole. That's why it's called the Kessler run, because people have to go Kessel. around. The Kessel? Oh, Kessel. they have to go around a black hole. And he did it by getting really close to the event horizon and then getting out of there. Do you know what Kessel was known for? No, what is he known it's for? known for the spice mines. And in the original, like... In, in... Star Wars. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? No, they mine spice. It's a drug. Yeah, that's also a drug in um, Dune. Dune, yeah, which so, you should watch. Yeah, so uh, in the original like Han Solo trilogy, like his backstory, he I think he he either rescues somebody from there or he gets like sentenced there. But there's like a whole book that takes place in the spice mines of Kessel. It's really interesting. If they're by AC Crispin, I highly recommend. If anybody likes Han Solo, you read them. I wonder if it's in the Legends or Canon section. I guess I will miss I one know. thing about this place. The science doesn't care what you believe. All science right. Science doesn't care what you believe. All right, Ledge Edge Lord. Oh no. Oh, okay. A ham. <laughs> this looked like Mr. Jefferson's car from the original. I was like, no. This car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. What's Aham stand for? All right. So Maybe like Ahab. Holden C. Holden, Holden Caulfield. Caulfield. Yeah. We did it. We're we're smart. Hold on, are there any more? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bigfoot head. T. Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. L. D. Byron. Who's that? Uh, By wasn't Byron a poet? Quick, get your phone out. No, I'm just gonna. See. Wait, does that say Jim Sterling? Hold on. No way. No, no, Jim St Stirk. Stirk? What's Jim Stirk? Stirk? Stark? You got a little pothole. Hold on. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Katniss from uh, Hunger Games. Muad Dib. Who's Muad Dib? Uh... I'll look at the car while you're looking. Lord Byron. Someone's trying a bit too hard. With oh, yeah. Just, yeah. I just couldn't. I knew Byron was a poet, but I didn't know that. Who's first Lord name. Byron? He's a poet. Okay. Okay. He's a lead. He's Someone's a, trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Wow. Okay, so. Satan's baby mamas! <laughs> Muad Dib. Who's Muad Dib? I assume this is the security guy's car. Oh, <laughs> Um. It's fr it's a fictional species of desert mouse within Frank Herbert's Dune universe. Oh, we were just talking about Dune. I know. Okay, so it's but he's a fictional character in Dune. Oh wait, this is Thelma. I wonder if the trailer will say Louise. Ah. No. Yeah, so he's Thelma. one of the characters in Dune. That's so funny that we were just talking about that. I'm going to assume this is like Thelma from Thelma and Louise because that was a movie about two women who, running away together, who like get a little bit sad. Okay, hold on. What's the other totally. one? Jim Stark. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe uh, Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. Well, why are I you here? Was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh. <laughs> no, no, really. Not right now, but who's that? Who's Jim Stark? Jim Stark is, the fict is a fictional character played by James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause. Of course. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, but sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. Get and let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I'd figured I'd see the Tempest anyway. I was going to text you, actually. 
I got two tickets in case you changed your mind. Okay. Oh. Thanks. I guess. Yeah? So you in? Might help you take your mind off things. No! I'm but, gay. But sh no, 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 no. But like. Just kidding. It was a joke. Wouldn't we want to see Rachel in it? Or Okay, but I don't want to use him yeah. as a medium to get. Like, hey, yeah, you're clearly yeah. asking me on a date, but I want to go see someone else, so I'm I, just going to pass, because it's like, that's mean. You yeah, know? I, well, it, because because he, like, clearly has this in mind as a date, probably. Yeah. We might be sending mixed I signals. I like your nail polish. Thank you. We match. Yeah. Whoa, we really do match. Hold on. Look. Your, yours is blue. Your No, it's black, but when you oh. see it through the light, and so yours is too. See? Oh. So we match on like two We're different levels. We're both wearing black nail, black nail polish. Have spooky Halloween. Too spooky. Still a no. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we can hang out instead? That's fine. Nah, I think I'll just chill at home. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. <laughs> her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. I feel bad for him. I, yeah, but then at the same time, like, you can't really say things like that, you know? My other vehicle is drama. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> Alright, Chloe, you're not above that statement. Oh, did you see it has a Life is Strange bumper sticker? Where? Right there. That's... Very meta. Oh, Ma life no, is, life is a state. Life, life is a stage. Oh, they, they so really funny. got us. They got us. Okay, so did that's, I miss that's anything? probably the drama teacher's car. Tom, Tom Sawyer. Sawyer. Um, no, I like. I feel bad for him because like Chloe basically admits to kind of like stringing him along a little bit. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to string him along any more. further. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh fuck yeah! Draw a dick on it. Some of the light goes on. There's a dick. <laughs> draw a dick, draw a dick. What could the Tempest use more of? Draw a vagina! Anarchy. Yeah, not pot, come on. All that's left is to get arrested. <laughs> you know, smoking weed's okay, just don't let it be a part of who you are. Yeah. You can't trust normal people. You can't trust normies. Just can't as, trust the normies. Just ask Rachel. Her dad seems like the most normal guy on the planet, but he also turns out to be a cheating dickwad. Come to think of it, maybe that is normal? Oh, God, that realization. When you're, yeah. That suck. What sucks is that Rachel and her parents actually seemed to get along really well before. James is the new district attorney in Arcadia Bay, which is the reason Rachel's family moved up here from Orange County. Despite his job, James doesn't act like an uptight law enforcer all the time, unlike some wannabe father figures I know. <laughs> Rose, Rachel's mom, also seems pretty decent. She certainly really loves Rachel and James. Poor lady. Whatever happens with Rachel's family, it seems like she really does love her parents, and maybe that's all that matters? I'd certainly rather have a cheating dickwad dad than a dead one. Oh. Another uh, way to Max. What? We're there wasn't Don't anything. All never said. Are those not new pages? At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. No, I accidentally went to a different page that didn't have the purple skull on it. But now we're gonna win it. Max. Okay, Max. When did you decide you were? Is this the second? Oh, five, okay. eight, ten. I I thought I saw one more. Uh, yeah. Um, Max. Uh. I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe Blows This and going back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life. The next moment I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her like some dork asking the head cheerleader to the prom. And she blew me off because of course she did. But wait, that's not all. Because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously, and then I passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me. How was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. I know some people were like, how did she pass out? I'm like, I don't know if you guys... Have you ever had an anxiety attack? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Or just like spent just so emotionally upset that you just fall asleep. I don't know if that's ever like as soon as you come down from the emotional turmoil, you're like sleep. Yeah. Max, Max, when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I asked because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're going to leave a trail of destruction in our wake. Did you see that it's a building on fire? Dope. <laughs> For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically, that's how you make an exit, woman. Chloe, the exit wounder. So I got my um, my fortune told at a witch store, because I walked in and they were just happening to have some sort of witch event. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'll just get my fortune told. And so she was like a runic fortune teller or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't really believe... Like, I went in there being like, let's have an open mind, but then I was like, I don't believe this. Like, I just don't feel it. But at the same time, I was like, I'm just gonna, like, be receptive of anything she says, because she might just say something, like, interesting. Yeah. Well, and sometimes, even if the things that the person says are not, like, quote-unquote, like, prophecy, it, it can it's, still it's, cause you to self-reflect, yeah, which is never a bad thing. Which is good, because that is what happened. I was like, okay, well, I don't believe this is magic, but I'm just gonna take what they say and, like, use that to reflect. Mm-hmm. So when it, so the very first rune I got was fire. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, did you know that forests, like, need fire to, to like, certain seeds and stuff? And I was like, I do know. I just said that on our Life is Strange Let's Play. How did you know? Like, no, this was, like, a few days ago. I was like, and then Life is Strange is coming out later this week. That must be it. My fortune is about video games. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm basically magically tied to Life is Strange. It's official. It's official. My turn. Dear Max, Dad got me the stationery. No, these are the first oh. ones, right? Well, why does it still have so, a... See, 12 out of 12, 1 out of 12? Why are all it... these new? Hold on. Okay, but it still has the purple skull on it, so I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, is this something we Oh, have? this one. Max. With, a... are you... with all this Shakespeare shit going on, I thought I'd write you a sonnet. Then I realized that rhyming is hard and nothing really rhymes with Rachel, which seems <laughs> fitting given that I've never actually met anyone like Rachel before. With Rachel, everything is a game of some kind. I had to use my breaking and entering skills get, to get this viewfinder working just so we could spy on peeps at the park. Rachel was hilarious making up dialogue for them, and I actually held my own mocking, mocking some tight shorts wearing Speedwalker. After we watched some old couple suck face, Rachel decided it was high time we unsobered ourselves. So we hatched a plan to steal wine from these yuppie picnickers. And since it's Rachel, the plan involved elaborate acting and more improv on my part. My acting fell short this time. Thankfully, it can still snatch and run with the best of them. Our hard-earned wine in tow. We, injur- we journeyed forth in search of more fun and games. Chloe, the unsober. Okay. Chloe, okay. All right, okay, okay. We should... I don't remember how much of these we okay, read. Okay, this, this is where we're at. Okay. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe? Chloe. Chloe Elizabeth Price. (laughs) You can ignore me all you want, but there will be hell to pay when you get home. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have that meeting earlier tomorrow. I, she's still telling us to be home by curfew, even though we just totally fucked up. Yeah. I'd be like, get up now! Again, Chloe? Really? I'm at my wit's end with you. Uh, let's go back to set. Okay. okay. Oh, there we go. So that's where we are. Yup. Okay. What happened with Drew? People say you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Holy shit, did you get Wells' text about fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, want me to send you to send you the chem homework? 
Urgent fire weather update. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. 2.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Active Class D wildfire not contained. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy. Jumping out of trains and shit. Oh, man. We'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you, from you again. Um, point... That I need to say, there's women in the women's prisons fighting the fires for one dollar a day, and the ones who live in L.A. when they're not in prison, they're not able to become firefighters after this, even though they have the training. Yeah, I read about that on Twitter. I just wanted to, like, you know, let people know yeah. that it's bullshit. Anyway. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. Hello, well, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Wells blows. That meeting hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. <laughs> no, you hang up. No, you. No, we gotta go to bed. <laughs> but, like, what about this? You don't You're suck. a loser. No, you're a loser. God, that's so gay in a good way. Oh. Oh, boy. Ah. <sighs> Members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution when traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. I hear the lighting is super important for setting the tone. Anarchy! Okay. Uh, Can you imagine all the annoying people that would cheer if we put the weed sign up? I know. Woo! Weed! It's like, calm down. Don't let it be your... It's cool. Not cool, but it's okay well, to smoke weed. Just don't let it be, like, who It's you kind of are. like when people get, it's like, about super... damn time. David, please. Get, like, super excited about, like, drinking, and it's like, it's just drinking. Like, it's not... It's I guess people... I feel like sometimes people... I should probably get this over with and talk with Mom. 